today I have come across a case of uh, avascular necrosis of both hip joints in a 56 year old lady. She has uh, no other significant history. Two years back she was admitted in a hospital for the treatment of uh, severe COVID. She was uh, on ventilation for a week or so in the hospital and uh, presumably she might have been given steroids. She recovered after that without any late symptoms, but uh, she has presented with uh, both hip pain of recent onset, maybe of two months duration. Another orthopedic surgeon has uh, seen her and had done MRI scans. I will show you the MRI scans now. Basically, she has got uh, avascular necrosis of uh, both hip joints. Avascular necrosis of both hip joints means that uh, there is a death of the bone due to a lack of blood supply in the bone. One common cause is steroid administration. Steroids were administered with increasing frequency during the recent pandemic of COVID and uh, this has led to an increase in uh, cases of avascular necrosis of hip in the country. This lady has undergone an MRI scan and uh, the staging is uh, grade 2C. That means she has got uh, changes of sclerosis means thicker density, increased density uh, in the hip joint of greater than 50% 2C. So 2C means there is no collapse but the changes are extensive. There is no, since there is no collapse, she is a potential candidate for conservative treatment, not conservative treatment, but uh, stem cell treatment and core decompression. I have advised her. Her daughter is working in a biosciences company in Chennai and they are very keen to pursue this uh, option of uh, stem cell treatment. Stem cell treatment of uh, avascular necrosis of hip can be done with uh, great chances of success of 80%. Uh, the patient's lip will, uh, pain and lip will disappear and uh, they can avoid a uh, hip replacement. To know more about uh, avascular necrosis and stem cell treatment for uh, this condition, you can refer to this video and blog post here. So I'm going to show you the MRI scans of the hip now. I'm going to change the camera and show you the MRI scan. So these are the changes in the hip joint. Uh, this is the right hip, 2C, up to 50%. On the left hip, it is more than 50%. Uh, there is no collapse of the bone over here in the weight-bearing area. And on this side also, there is no collapse of the bone. So if there is no collapse of the bone, uh, that means it is not stage 3 and stage 3 means hip replacement will be indicated. So as of now, she is a potential candidate for non-hip replacement alternative. That is core decompression and stem cell injection. Stem cells will be obtained from bone marrow. Since both are involved but the left is uh, more severe than the right, uh, she will require this to be done first and then thereafter the procedure is done uh, there is a period of uh, protected weight bearing on the left side protected weight bearing on the left side to avoid the collapse and to safeguard this hip and on the right side the, so for that would be for a gas type period of six weeks and again the right, right hip will be done later again she will require a protected weight bearing on the right side and hopefully there will be a subsequent decrease in the symptoms the hip will revert back to normal there is 80 to 70 to 80 more than 70 to 80 percent chance of improvement and uh, then she will be all right